Even Lu Yun looked at the villa in front of him and felt a little dazed. It turned out that the most luxurious villa in Jinling was actually in Brother Ye's hands. After driving the cars back, the young masters and young ladies did not stay any longer. They stayed for a while before leaving. Lu Yun had just returned home. A voice sounded from the side. Young brat, why did you leave early and return late? Where did you go? Dad, I had a serious matter to attend to. What serious matter? I think you went racing, right? Come, 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 young brat, let's talk. Lu Yun's father pulled Lu Yun to the other side. Just as he was about to raise his palm, Dad, I won't pretend anymore. I'll lay my cards on the table. I think I met a benefactor. Lu Yun's father was speechless. What? A benefactor? Then, Lu Yun began to speak. After speaking, he looked at his father, who was in a daze. Dad, why aren't you saying anything? Yes. Say something. F asterisk CK. Dad, what's wrong? Lu Yun shook his father twice before he was slapped away by his father. I'm fine. I just want to be alone. Lu Yun was speechless. What was he saying? Meanwhile, Yi Xian was also heading towards villa number two and was about to go home when he saw Pagani Huayra parked at the entrance. It was a car worth more than 20 million yuan. When he saw the license plate, Yi Xian's expression darkened slightly. The license plate started with a capital A. At a glance, it was someone from Tianjing. It must be someone from the main Yi family in Tianjing. The Yi family could be considered a huge family. The main Yi family was in Tianjing. In Tianjing, they could be considered a family in the upper middle class. Their influence was not small. After all, they were under the emperor. Meanwhile, Yi Xian's bloodline was considered a collateral branch of the Yi family. In Yi Xian's opinion, the so-called collateral relatives were people who couldn't enjoy the benefits of the Yi family and had to suffer the family's anger. Therefore, Yi Xian did not have a good impression of the head of the family and the main family. Every time he went to Tianjing, those people disdained and mocked him. They even ordered him around, making him extremely unhappy. If not for the fact that their lineage was relatively strong and they were relatively far from Tianjing, they would have been bullied. After all, Yi Xian still remembered the mistakes of the other collateral relatives. As he thought about it, Yi Xian walked in. At this moment, in the villa, a young man in a suit, who looked a little roguish, swaggered up from the sofa. His fourth sister Yi Chan looked at him. What era is it now? Do you still think that marriage is arranged by your parents? Hee <laughs> hee, don't do this the hard way. Letting your big sister marry the young master of the Lei family in Tianjing is out of your league. Don't be ungrateful. The Lei family is one of the families of Tianjing. Although they're not big, they're more than enough to compare to your collateral branch family. You've benefited, but do you still want to pretend to be obedient now? I'm just here to inform you. When I come back, we'll tell your parents and grandfather. Yi Hai had a look of disdain on his face. Then, he sneered and said, Look at what you eat and wear. If not for the protection of the main Yi family, would you have such good fortune? That's ridiculous. Next month is the old master's birthday. You still have time to consider. If you don't agree, you can go to Tianjing to argue with the old master. However, he, if the old master is angry, it won't be so simple. Then, you'll be kicked out of the Yi family. At that time, he, he let's see if you still have such a life. Then, the young man stood up and looked at Yuan. All right, I've delivered my words. I'll remind you one last time. The words were said by the old master. The marriage was meant by the old master. Remember your identities. You're just collateral relatives of the Yi family. Could it be that you've stayed in Jinling for too long and forgot the protection of the main family? Do you think you fought for all of this by yourselves? With that, Yi Hai ignored their expressions and walked out. As he walked, he sneered. He he, a group of poor bumpkins. When Yi Hai went out, Yi Xian happened to return. Then, Yi Hai walked out without looking sideways and treated Yi Xian as heir. Yi Xian also looked at Yi Hai. He still remembered this grandson from the direct line of descent. After all, he was the most arrogant and domineering among the three grandsons from the direct line of the Yi family descent. After entering, Yi Xian looked at his sisters in front of him. What's wrong? Yi Wan looked at Yi Chan, Chan Chan, bring our little brother upstairs. 
Okay, big sister. Dün, ye çan pullet ye vuan upstairs. Yi Xian was speechless. What happened? Was there anything else that they couldn't tell him? When they arrived at his fourth sister's room, Yi Xian looked at his fourth sister in front of him. Fourth sister, what's wrong? Nothing good happened when Yi Hai came to our place just now, right? Yi Chan also sighed and did not speak. Yi Xian continued to ask a few more questions before Yi Chan said, I shouldn't be telling you about this. The main family wanted to use Big Sister and the Lei family in Tianjing. Yi Xian sat on the bed and listened to his fourth sister's words. Then, he was furious. Great. The main Yi family. What a good move. Bullsh asterisk T protection. So what if they cover the sky with one hand in Tianjing? Could they control the development of Jinling? They were really flattering themselves. What did dad and mom say? Yi Xian looked at his fourth sister and asked. Dad and mom will be back in a few days. We'll discuss it then. Yi Chan was also worried. After all, from Yi Hai's tone just now, it seemed that the old master of the main family had also schemed against them and used them as tools. Yi Xian sat on the bed with a cold smile on his lips. One month, right? In a month, they would settle the score with the head of the Yi family. As she thought about this, Yi Chan hugged Yi Xian from behind. The next moment, a light screen popped up in front of Yi Xian. Hum? Congratulations to the host for obtaining the opportunity to sign in. Do you want to sign in? Yi Xian was stunned. This was a chance to sign in. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the ownership of the Shanghai Tianjing Racing Arena. The Shanghai Tianjing Racing Arena? From Shanghai? This was a little far. Then, Yi Xian searched this place. He really wouldn't know if he didn't search. He was shocked. The Tianjing Racing Arena covered an area of 106 hectares. The race course had a total length of 3.715 kilometers, a width of 12 to 15 meters, and a maximum drop of 32 meters. It was the first international mountain race course in China. The track had 18 turns and was designed to have a maximum speed of 296 kilometers per hour. The support facilities for competitions included a maintenance area, an equipment area, a car weighing area and a car inspection area, a command center, a time center, an information center, a closed circuit television system, a broadcast system, a surveillance camera system, a main stand, a secondary stand, a grass stand, a VIP box, a multipurpose hall, an award stage, a medical rescue center, a helipad, and so on. Commercial service facilities included a business clubhouse, a drive in cinema, a hotel, a theme cafeteria, a cafe a dessert shop, a bar, a convenience store, a spa clubhouse, a concept book bar, a boutique, a racing equipment rental shop, and so on. In short, the Tianjing Racing Arena had all kinds of supporting facilities. This was a good place. Yi Xian thought about it and took the opportunity while going to the toilet to go out to take a look. He saw that his sisters had already returned to their rooms. That night, Yi Xian slept peacefully. The next day, his other sisters went to work while his fourth sister live-streamed. Yi Xian was left alone at home. At this moment, in another villa in Jinling, Lu Yun looked at his father, who was sitting upright beside him, and took out his phone to call Yi Xian. After a few rings, Yi Xian picked up. When Lu Yun heard Yi Xian's voice, he quickly said, Brother Yi, my father said that he wants to visit you. Do you have time? Lu Yun's father, Lu Haikong, listened attentively. He was very nervous. He was even more nervous than when he proposed to Lu Yun's mother. He had built up feelings with Lu Yun's mother, but with Yi Xian. It was just that he wanted to curry favor with him. Lu Haikong had also heard from Lu Yun about Yi Xian's business. Yi Xian had more than a hundred billion in liquid funds. He was also the owner of Huaxing Plaza and the largest cruise ship in China. He was even a shareholder of the Volkswagen Corporation. Any one of these titles could make others worship them crazily. Could such a big shot accept his visit? After hearing Lu Yun's words, Yi Xian rejected him directly. It's not convenient. He was at home. If Lu Yun's father brought a bunch of gifts over, he would not be able to explain himself. Lu Haikong had been listening carefully. After hearing Yi Xian's rejection, he looked lonely and felt very disappointed. That was right. Who was he? How could he have the status to visit Yi Xian? Forget it. He had forced himself. At the thought of this, Lu Haikong wanted to get up and take a walk. However, before he could take a step, 
He heard Yi Xin's voice on the phone again. It's not convenient for me here. Give me your address and I'll go over myself. What? What did he hear? Was this what it meant to have a light at the end of a seemingly endless tunnel? Yi Xin agreed. He even wanted to come personally. Liu Haikong was so excited that he couldn't control himself. Before Liu Yun could speak, he saw his father dancing in front of him, indicating for him to quickly agree. Liu Yun was shocked by his father's excitement. Just as he hung up the phone after saying a few words to Yi Xian, he saw his father rush over and urge him to send his address. Oh, all right. Liu Yun could only agree. He felt that there was something wrong with his father. Liu Yun sent the address to Yi Xian. When he looked up, he realized that his father was no longer in the living room. He looked around and inadvertently saw a familiar figure standing at the gate outside his courtyard. Wasn't this his father? Liu Yun simply felt a headache. There was something wrong with his father. Ever since he could remember, he had never seen his father so excited and nervous. Was this still his father? Looking at his father, who was already looking around outside the courtyard, Liu Yun felt very helpless. His father had always been someone who would remain calm even if a mountain collapsed in front of him. He had never been so excited. Liu Yun could only walk out of the villa and shout at his father, Dad, I just sent the address. Brother Yi probably hasn't set off yet. Why are you in such a hurry to go out? What do you know? Liu Haikong glared at his son angrily and reprimanded him. What did your father teach you since you were young? You have to be polite. Especially for people like us who do business, the most important thing is to be amiable and no etiquette. Liu Yun still wanted to say something, but his father pulled him to his side. You're with me too. Stand here and welcome Chairman Yi. What could Liu Yun say? Did he dare to say anything? When his father glared at him, he was terrified. He could only follow. Fortunately, Yi Xian didn't make them wait for long. In just half an hour, Yi Xian arrived in Liu Yinran's car. After the car stopped, Liu Yun hurriedly ran forward to help Yi Xian open the car door. At this moment, Liu Yinran got out of the car. When Liu Haikong saw Liu Yinran and Yi Xian appear here together, he was shocked. The few of them said in surprise, Director Liu, why are you here with Chairman Yi? Liu Yinran was not a nameless person in Jinling. On the contrary, she was famous. She was the director of Huaxia Bank, who among the CEOs of companies didn't curry favor with her. Seeing Liu Yinran arrive, Liu Haikong hurriedly asked. When Liu Yinran saw Liu Haikong, she simply smiled politely and explained with a smile, so it's Chairman Liu. Chairman Yi saved 60 billion yuan in Huaxia Bank. As a condition, I agreed to become Chairman Ye's secretary. Liu Haikong looked enlightened, but his heart was in turmoil. He had deposited 60 billion in cash. Oh my god. He did not even dare to think about it. However, could the proud Liu Yinran become Yi Xian's secretary with just a huge sum of money? Combined with Yi Xian's other assets, Yi Xian's identity was probably not as simple as his son knew. However, the more mysterious Yi Xian's identity was, the more shocked Liu Haikong was. This eight or nine year old child in front of him actually had such power. Liu Haikong composed himself and walked respectfully to Yi Xian. He handed over his business card with both hands and started to introduce himself. Hello, Chairman Yi. I've heard a lot about you. I'm the chairman of the Liu Corporation. Please take care of me in the future. My son has troubled you. Liu Yun was speechless. He thought, Father, something's wrong with you. Liu Haikong waited for Yi Xian to take his business card before making an inviting gesture and leading Yi Xian and Liu Yin ran into the villa. Yi Xian briefly observed the Liu family's villa. The courtyard was paved with neat tiles. There were some giant timber bamboo spaces that were cleverly separated by cobblestones. The wide courtyard was orderly and decorated very cleverly. It could be seen that the person who decorated it had put in a lot of effort. In particular, the use of the giant timber bamboo gave the entire courtyard a sense of righteousness. Yi Xian couldn't help but praise, those who know how to arrange giant timber bamboo in their homes are all gentlemen. Gentlemen loved bamboo. As the ancients said, one would rather eat without meat than live without bamboo. It was obvious. Liu Haikong was stunned for a moment. He looked at Yi Xian with a hint of excitement in his eyes. I didn't expect Chairman Yi to know about giant timber bamboo at such a young age. It makes me feel like I've found a soulmate. 
These words were not only compliments, but also Lu Haikong's thoughts. There were at least 800 people who had been to his villa, but very few could read his intentions. Today, Yixian actually saw through them. How could he not be excited? There was bamboo outside, while the interior was decorated in a contemporary Chinese style. There was a hint of elegance everywhere. The design of the entrance was even more ingenious. There was a pool of clear water under the floor, where a few golden fish were raised. The floor was made of tempered glass, making it look especially elegant and interesting. There was a hint of agility. Even the knowledgeable Yixian couldn't help but take a few more glances at this unique design. He even teased Lu Yun and said, I saw that young master Lu likes sports cars and fashion. I really couldn't tell that he was raised in such an elegant family. Lu Yun chuckled and winked at Yixian. There are thousands of good things in life. We can't all have the same hobbies, right? Lu Haikong looked at his naturally joking son and couldn't bear to scold him. He thought excitedly in his heart that his son had to build a good relationship with Chairman Yi. Then, Lu Haikong led them to the living room. Most of the furniture was made of wood. The price of the furniture used naturally rose based on its material. Yi Xian took a look. The Lu family used extremely high-end mahogany as the base, and every piece was priceless. Lu Yinran seemed to know a little about mahogany. She observed the sofa and said, Is this furniture made of rosewood? It's really impressive. Lu Haikong laughed out loud. His laughter was very hearty. I didn't expect director Lu to know her stuff. I spent a lot of money to get this back then. In the future, I plan to simply modify it and use it forever. Lu Yin Ran reached out and touched the surface of the mahogany. The touch on her fingertips was moist and smooth. Chairman Lu is a true expert. Ordinary people won't be able to achieve such longevity in maintaining such furniture. Not only was mahogany expensive, but it was also very precious. If one wanted to maintain its value, they had to maintain it every once in a while. Otherwise, if it was too dry, it would easily crack, and if it was too moist, it would easily rot. At the mention of maintaining the mahogany furniture, Lu Haikong talked nonstop. This fragrant rosewood furniture doesn't like damp conditions. I usually wipe it with a wet cotton cloth. Every two to three months, I wrap walnuts with a cotton cloth to wipe it. The cycle repeats. Do you wrap the walnuts? Lu Yinran seemed to have never heard of such a maintenance method. She smiled. I've never heard of this before. I've only heard that it's easier to stain the mahogany with walnut oil. Lu Haikong seemed to be extremely disgusted by the method of applying walnut oil. He frowned and kept shaking his head. No, no. That's an amateur method. Fragrant rosewood is already relatively oily. If you apply walnut oil to the surface, it will affect the oil production of the wood and its patina. It's not worth it. Most importantly, the patina formed from the oil produced by the wood is different from the patina formed by applying walnut oil. Anyone with a discerning eye can tell at a glance. After saying that, Lu Haikong suddenly slapped his head and said with a vexed expression, Look at my memory. I actually ignored the esteemed guest sitting at the side. I really deserve to be punished. Yi Xian didn't mind. He just smiled faintly and said, Chairman Lu, you don't have to be so polite. You're the host. The guest can just follow the host. Lu Haikong was in a good mood after hearing Yi Xian's words. He stood up and said to Yi Xian, I don't have anything to entertain Chairman Yi. I wonder if Chairman Yi likes tea? I have some pretty good tea leaves here. Why don't we try them together? Lu Haikong was also a little uncertain. After all, Yixian looked like he was only eight or nine years old, but his status was so much higher than his. He couldn't just wait anxiously for him to come and ask him if he wanted fruit juice, right? Yixian nodded and revealed a very bright smile. Sure, then I'll let Chairman Lu take out his treasure. Look at what you're saying. Chairman Yi is too polite said Lu Haikong as he brought over the good tea that he had kept for a long time. There were all kinds of tea sets on the coffee table. It could be seen that Lu Haikong was a tea lover. Lu Haikong washed the tea leaves with hot water and poured the tea on the tea pet. After the originally gray and bare item was doused in hot water, it instantly revealed its red and tender flesh. It was actually a very cute lychee. Yi Xian smelled the fragrance of the tea and sniffed it twice before saying, the top-grade Lion Peak Dragonwell tea is indeed good tea. 
The Lion Peak Dragon Well belonged to the category of green tea. When drinking green tea, one had to pay particular attention to its freshness. Yi Xian picked up the teacup and took a sip. He could tell that Lu Haikong's Lion Peak Dragon Well tea had not been stored for long. It was definitely considered a new tea that had been bought in the past year. The four of them sat in the antique villa and tasted the top grade green tea while chatting. It was a very elegant thing. As Yi Xian drank his tea, he casually observed the decorations in the villa. His gaze wandered back and forth among the calligraphy paintings hanging on the wall. Suddenly, he stared at one of them for a long time. Is this actually Deng Shiru S1 calligraphy? Yevuan Eklaimet. He quickly stood up and went to the front of the calligraphy painting to observe it carefully. When Lu Haikong heard Yi Xian's words, he actually looked at him in a daze as if he had lost his soul. When Lu Yun, who was sitting at the side, saw his father's dejected appearance, he hurriedly reached out and gently poked Lu Haikong, waking him up as if he had woken up from a dream. Chairman Yi, do you actually know about Deng Shiru? Lu Haikong's expression was a little complicated. He looked incredulous yet excited. Yi Xian didn't even turn his head, but his voice echoed in the hall. Deng Shiru is a famous folk wonder. He's a pioneer in tablet studies and a leader in seal carving. However, very few of his calligraphy works are left, and they're even rarer on the market. Actually, Deng Shiru had many calligraphy works, but most of them were copied versions of the tablet inscriptions he had carved. It was also because of this that many people ignored Deng Shiru's true calligraphy skills. People say that people are like their calligraphy, and their calligraphy is like them. Deng Shiru wrote, It is rare to be as pure as snow and also know that wealth is fleeting. If you observe such humble words a few times a day, your understanding of your temperament in life must be extremely good. The more Yi Xian looked at the calligraphy piece, the more he felt that it was a classic. Lu Haikong looked like he had seen his confidant. He said with emotion, My friends who know about calligraphy can't even say that. They don't even look at the calligraphy. Instead, they look at the words here. Little do they know that the most valuable one here is the one you mentioned. Chairman Yi, only those who truly understood Deng Shiru's character would collect his calligraphy. It was precisely because of this understanding that the price of his calligraphy and painting soared. Yi Xian smiled calmly and said, Collections like calligraphy and paintings emphasize understanding. It did not matter if Yi Xian really understood it or if he was a culture snob. Those who were fated would naturally understand it. Lu Haikong and Yi Xian chatted for a while. Putting aside their identities, he also admired Yi Xian very much. Now that he heard Yi Xian's explanation of calligraphy, his heart couldn't help but heat up. He invited him and said, Chairman Yi, do you want to practice calligraphy? Why don't we go upstairs and interact? Yi Xian saw that the people around him were eager and nodded in agreement. Everyone, follow me. The Lu family villa had its own elevator. Under Lu Haikong's lead, they went to the top floor. The top floor had been turned into a study by Lu Haikong. The furniture inside was still a pool of fragrant rosewood, showing his financial strength. The four treasures of the study, namely brushes, ink, paper, and ink stones, were placed on the abnormally wide desk. In the middle of the paper was a stack of good rice paper with paperweights on it. There were a few Jujong calligraphy brushes on the brush rack. They were also outstanding brushes, and each one was expensive. Lu Yinran did not know calligraphy. She walked straight to the bookshelf. As soon as she walked over, she stared at the many thread-bound books on the bookshelf. She was very curious about this. Chairman Lu, can we open these books to take a look? Lu Yinran asked very politely. Many book collectors hated it when people flipped through their antique books with their bare hands, because the water vapor in people's hands would decay the ancient books. If one really wanted to read the books, they had to put on a pair of dry white gloves on their hands to read the books. However, Lu Haikong didn't mind. He waved his hand generously. Director Lu just read the books. Meanwhile, Lu Yun followed behind silently. Almost no one could understand his current feelings. His father was too different from his usual self. He could not accept it for a moment. He even missed his calm father. Lu Haikong walked to the inkstone and ground some ink. The surging black liquid actually had a strange fragrance. Yi Xian simply raised his nose and sniffed it before guessing the source of the ink. It's Hui ink, 
Director Liu is really a particular person. The things and tools he uses are all excellent. Hui ink was the best ink. It could be determined from its color and unique fragrance. Such ink was worthy of an antique ink stone. Liu Haikong finished grinding the ink and walked to the desk. After thinking for a moment, he wrote a poem on the paper like a flying dragon. It was the poem that Yi Xian had praised Deng Shiru for. It is rare to be as pure as snow and also know that wealth is fleeting. Once an expert made a move, the truth would be revealed. The moment Liu Haikong picked up the brush, his entire aura changed. Under his control, the brush moved quickly on the paper. It was a simple line of words, but it had a grand aura. With each stroke, it was as if Liu Haikong's many years of life experience and his comprehension of life had been integrated. Every word was filled with stories. When everyone saw Liu Haikong's writing, they couldn't help but praise him. Chairman Liu is indeed well-versed in the Tao. The essence of these words is completely reflected. It's really good calligraphy. It's as if it can penetrate the back of the piece of paper. It feels like the writing paper weighs a thousand kilograms. The words are majestic. Father, your character has all fused into these words. When Liu Haikong heard everyone praise him like this, he hurriedly laughed and waved his hand. Everyone, please don't praise me. I'm the one who can't be praised the most. Once I'm praised, I get proud easily. You're trying to flatter me. Hearing Liu Haikong's humorous self-deprecation, everyone laughed out loud. The atmosphere became very friendly. Liu Haikong had loved calligraphy since he was young. Even after doing business for many years, he had never given up on this hobby. According to him, practicing calligraphy could calm his mind and allow him to face the worries and trivial matters in his life more peacefully. This practice lasted for decades. The foundation from decades of practice was written on paper, so the effect was naturally stunning. Liu Haikong looked at the line of words he had written on the desk and felt very satisfied. He even felt that it had completely exceeded his usual standards. After putting down the brush in satisfaction, Liu Haikong turned to look at Yi Xian and asked, How is it? Chairman Yi, why don't you write one as a practice? Yi Xian simply agreed without thinking. Okay. When Liu Yun, who was standing at the back, heard Yi Xian agree, his face was filled with shock and disbelief. He said to his father, Dad, it's not that I want to criticize you, but you're bullying me. You've been practicing calligraphy for decades. How old is Brother Yi? As Liu Haikong's son, Liu Yun was already in his twenties while Yi Xian was only eight years old. If word got out, people would scold him for being disrespectful. At the thought of this, Liu Yun quickly turned around and said to Yi Xian, Brother Yi, don't be fooled by my father. He's from the Jinling Calligraphy Association. Moreover, he won several gold medals in provincial level calligraphy competitions a few years ago. Don't be fooled. Liu Yun didn't know whether Yi Xian didn't understand the value of these awards or didn't care at all. Yi Xian shook his head with a smile and said, The first stage of practicing calligraphy is form. Whether it's calligraphy, cursive, or clerical script, you need to grasp their characteristics, practice their essence, and integrate your own understanding. The moment Yi Xian said this, everyone present was attracted and pricked up their ears to listen carefully to what he said. After this first realm, even if you master the essence of calligraphy, what you pursue next is not a certain type of font, but the meaning of the words. Liu Haikong's expression changed, and he looked at Yi Xian in shock. An eight-year-old child could actually speak so accurately and clearly. He was a powerful figure. Liu Yanran seemed to be interested in Yi Xian's calligraphy teachings and asked, What do you mean by meaning? In other words, it means the intent of the calligraphy piece. It's just like how many people will use cursive script when writing poems, but they will definitely use clerical script when writing official documents. This is because the content they want to express is different. Different words can also give people a different mental state. On the surface, it sounds like it's the effect of calligraphy, but in the end, it's still because of the person who wrote calligraphy. When one's understanding of calligraphy reached the second realm, no matter what kind of calligraphy they used, they could make the audience feel different emotions through their understanding of intent. Liu Haikong couldn't help but clap. He looked at Yi Xian expectantly. Then what's the third realm? Yi Xian lowered his eyes. The third realm is force. It's also an upgrade from the second realm. 
The second realm of meaning referred to understanding the meaning of the words. As for the third realm of force, it was the complete manifestation of the meaning after understanding the words. This was also why the calligraphy of a real master could be felt at a glance. It was as if it was a real item that assaulted the senses. The entire study instantly fell silent. It was so quiet that one could even hear everyone's breathing. The others heaved a sigh. They had just digested such a huge amount of information and were still in shock. They still needed time to slowly figure it out. Just as everyone had their own thoughts, Yi Xian had already picked up his brush and dipped it into the ink. From the moment Yi Xian picked up the brush, his aura underwent a shocking change. Even though his height and appearance did not change, no one dared to underestimate him because he was too short. The aura that was slowly emitted was like a sense of pressure, causing the surrounding people to not dare to breathe loudly. It was too stylish. These people, who originally did not think highly of Yi Xian's calligraphy, actually had a trace of anticipation in their hearts. When the young man was about 15 years old, he could surpass a warhorse on foot. He killed a white-fronted tiger in the mountains. Chao Zhang cannot be considered the only hero. As he spoke, Yi Xian started writing. Boom! In an instant, everyone looked at the calligraphy and their eyes widened. They simply could not believe what they were seeing. This calligraphy. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, no one would have believed that an eight-year-old child actually had extremely beautiful handwriting. Yi Xian's wrist strength was very strong. Many times, it made the rest think that he was not holding a brush but a sharp sword. These heavy strokes seemed to pierce through the thin rice paper. Yi Xian wrote very quickly. His movements looked very light, but every word he wrote seemed to weigh a thousand pounds. The high-quality mahogany desk kept groaning as he wrote. The rest subconsciously opened their mouths wide, as if the shock and impact in their hearts were too great and was spilling out. How did he do it? When Chairman Yi wrote about the white-fronted tiger, the image of the white-fronted tiger appeared in front of me. It walked towards me step by step. Although I don't know much about calligraphy, I can feel that the style and power in his calligraphy are even more powerful than those world-famous people. Chairman Yi wrote this with his hand. If he personally participates in a few competitions, his name will soon appear in the history of calligraphy. Meanwhile, Yi Xian continued to write as if he didn't hear the praises. He traveled 1,500 kilometers in one go and controlled a million-strong army with a single sword. The Han soldiers were as fast as lightning. The captured cavalry were afraid of thistles. Every stroke was like a horse that had escaped its reins and soared into the sky. At the same time, each stroke was like a flood dragon flying in the sky. It came from nothingness and returned to emptiness. The impulse of this almost crazy and primitive vitality contained the spiritual chi of the world. He displayed his strength without losing it and displayed his figure without showing off. Furthermore, his handwriting was like flowing water. It was floating like the clouds and was as agile as a dragon. His calligraphy was dynamic and beautiful. It was unprecedented. His calligraphy was truly outstanding. If the first four lines of the poem could only give people a feeling of an image or a small moving picture, then, the moment Yi Xin finished writing the next four lines, it was as if a movie had been played. It was alive. The scene of the battle on the battlefield was instantly displayed in front of everyone. The blade and halberd in the armored warrior's hand seemed to have arrived in front of them. A drop of blood dripped down from the blade and landed on everyone's foreheads. It was warm and smelled of blood. It suddenly woke everyone up and made them break out in a cold sweat. Lu Haikong's face turned pale. He felt that his worldview was shaking. To him, a good calligraphy piece was like a two-dimensional picture. The writer would write the meaning he wanted to express on paper and present it to the audience. There were all kinds of details, actions, and so on. The audience would be able to see everything. If there was an upgraded version of the best calligraphy pieces, it would definitely be like a small moving picture, making the entire scene lively. The characters would have a personality. The items would have their own spirits. However, Yi Xian used a big move in front of them. After writing the eight lines, everyone felt as if they were on an ancient battlefield. They watched the generals fight and were covered in blood. This was not a movie, nor was it a 4D movie with motion. Instead, 
It was a completely immersive movie experience. The opening was a kingly explosion. Is this the third realm of calligraphy? Is this what you meant by force? Liu Haikong seemed to be talking to himself, yet seemed to be asking Yi Xian. Yi Xian nodded and gently put the brush back to its original place before saying, I think this is the third realm in my understanding. The so-called display of aura is just a joke. I've only learned a little. A little? The others subconsciously looked at each other. Excessive modesty was a form of pride. Even the current high-tech technology could not produce such an immersive viewing experience. He used a simple calligraphy piece and gave them an experience. Yet, he said that he had only learned a little. If this was considered learning a little, if one wanted to achieve a higher level or become a master, they would probably have to be in the four-dimensional world to understand. Everyone spoke almost at the same time, confirming Yi Xian's strength. I've been immersed in calligraphy for many years. I can guarantee with my personality that Chairman Yi, your calligraphy skills are definitely at the level of a top master. The scene just now was too intense and shocking. I don't even imagine such a magnificent scene when I'm dreaming. I've really seen it today. Brother Yi, you're too humble. Today, even if the president of the various calligraphy associations were here, if anyone can find any fault with you, I can fight them on the spot. A thousand words were combined into one sentence. This represented their admiration. They all knew calligraphy. They started from crooked strokes when they were young. After practicing for 10 to 20 years, they could barely be presented to others. However, this eight-year-old child in front of them had actually surpassed them by too much. They would not be able to reach this realm even if they practiced for 800 years. Liu Haikong put his palms together and bowed very sincerely to Yi Xian. Chairman Yi, your calligraphy is simply too awesome. I implore you to sell it to me. I'm willing to pay 20 million. Liu Haikong was simply too excited. He had never seen such good calligraphy. To be honest, he had the mentality of showing off his calligraphy skills at the beginning. Only now did he know how painful it was to be slapped like this. Yi Xian shook his head and said calmly, Why are you talking about money? If Chairman Liu likes it, I can just leave it here. Liu Haikong nodded excitedly. To be able to obtain such a piece of calligraphy, he felt that his life was worth it. He was even thinking about how many people he would invite to his house to observe after he finished framing it up. Oh right, Chairman Yi, do you have a seal? Please give me your signature. Liu Haikong suddenly asked. Ye Vuang Gurinnut. No, I'll make one for myself later. When Liu Haikong heard this, he hurriedly said, Chairman Yi, there's no need to be polite with me. I'll create a seal for you when we get back. People with such identities would create some personal seals that were very convenient to use. If Yi Xian didn't have one, Liu Haikong would help him get one. Meanwhile, Yi Xian didn't seem to care about the seal. He just waved his hand lightly, indicating that he would settle it by himself. However, Liu Haikong did not give up and silently remembered this matter. Everyone gathered around the desk and discussed Yi Xian's calligraphy with great interest. In his excitement, Liu Haikong praised him endlessly. If his son hadn't secretly tugged at the corner of his shirt, he would have had a lot to say. Liu Yun winked at his father and said in a small voice that only the two of them could hear, Dad, look at the time. It's time to eat. Liu Haikong slapped his forehead and said apologetically, Please forgive me. It seems like I'm really old and don't know when to stop speaking. Since Chairman Yi is here today, please accept my humble request and have a meal at my house. Liu Yun also echoed, That's right, Brother Yi. It's time to eat. Let's have a meal at my house. You're usually so good to me, but I haven't found a chance to repay you. Let me treat you to a meal to express my gratitude. Yi Xian looked at the sincere father and son. Then, he nodded in agreement. He had a good impression of the father and son. From the moment he arrived until now, the two of them were very polite. He could be considered to be having a good time. Liu Haikong was very happy to see Yi Xian agree. He immediately called the butler to prepare the dishes and invited Yi Xian to a banquet. The butler immediately arranged for someone to prepare. He had worked for the Liu family for decades, but this was the first time he had seen the father and son value a guest so much. As the butler, he did not dare to delay. Soon, a warm family banquet was prepared. Liu Haikong invited Yi Xian to the banquet. In order to respect him, 
He even left the master seat to Yi Xian. Chairman Yi, you should be very clear about the development trend in Jinling this year, right? The higher-ups have released the progress of and investments in more than a hundred scientific research projects at once. It seems that the trend from this year onwards is towards scientific research and network security. Liu Haikong invited everyone to eat while discussing this year's developments with Yi Xian. When Yi Xian heard this, he nodded slightly and said, This year, the higher-ups invested more than 160 billion yuan. Most of the money was invested in the development of the internet. However, this doesn't mean that this is a signal. This is the inevitable outcome of the development of the internet in the country. Nowadays, the development of the internet was extremely fast. Internet information security had become the most important thing. Cybersecurity and personal privacy were already problems that had to be resolved as soon as possible. Liu Haikong seemed to be a little emotional about this. However, the higher-ups have chosen some large research institutes to work with this time. It's really a pity that private companies like ours can't be related to these projects. Actually, Chairman Liu, you don't have to feel sorry. There are still many investments in transportation, education, healthcare, and so on that can be negotiated. Yi Xian talked about the development of Jinling. He was clear about the plans and policies of the higher-ups. Liu Haikong was not the only one who was surprised. Liu Yinran and Liu Yun were also shocked. Looking at Yi Xian, who was only eight or nine years old but had extremely gentlemanly and noble etiquette, they were speechless. Was this child really only eight or nine years old? Whether it was his social etiquette, hospitality, or the various skills he displayed, he had already surpassed too many adults in the world. In their understanding, there was almost no one as outstanding as Yi Xian. Not to mention that such a person was only eight or nine years old. Liu Haikong's mouth fell open. After a while, he slowly closed it. Chairman Yi, your business sense is really too sharp. If there are any new developments, I hope you can give me more pointers. Yi Xian tasted the Liu family's delicacies and was very impressed by the chef's cooking. The Liu family's banquet valued the requirements of the ingredients very much. However, to be able to produce such a good taste, it meant that the chef's culinary skills had reached a certain level. He thought for a moment and said to Liu Haikong, Chairman Liu, I can't give you any pointers, but I can provide a little point of view. You just said that Jinling attaches great importance to the development of internet security this year. Although we can't enter the large-scale security research institutes that are working with the higher-ups, nor do we have the time to build companies comparable to their strength, we can derive other industries to advance with the higher-ups' policies. We can be considered forerunners. The market of every industry could be compared to a big cake. Whoever entered first would be able to allocate the entire cake. They could eat as much as they wanted. If they could seize the market first, it would definitely be a good thing. Yi Xian's short sentences just now contained too much information. The others at the dining table stopped and looked at Yi Xian expectantly, wanting to hear what he would say next. We can totally build an intelligent online city with the higher-ups based on the projects we have on hand and connect the entire city. Of course, the premise is that in terms of information security, we have to start by ourselves. Furthermore, we need to absolutely prevent the possibility of the customer's privacy being exposed. Yi Xian talked naturally, his eyes constantly emitting a confident glow. This light was too powerful, causing the people beside him to automatically ignore his age and be completely immersed in his imagination. Yi Xian even mentioned, we can also participate in basic livelihood reform and livelihood-related services. Don't think about obtaining a large return every time you invest. You have to treat Jinling as your home. Once the base is built, wealth can flow in faster and into your pocket. Liu Haikong was already terrified. Yes, he was terrified. Yi Xian, who was speaking with fervor and assurance, was too terrifying. His thoughts were clear and his ideas were unique. His mind was like a large computer at work. After collecting a large amount of information, it quickly summarized the information and formed new opinions. Liu Haikong subconsciously looked at Liu Yinran. He saw shock and disbelief in her eyes. Yes, who would have thought that an eight- or nine-year-old child would be more concerned about the livelihood of the local people than people like them who were high and mighty? They felt ashamed of their inferiority and lowered their heads in shame. They sighed and lamented to Yi Xian. Chairman Yi, compared to your situation, 
we're still far inferior. I've really learned something today. Brother Yi, you're simply too awesome. You were my idol in the past, but from today onwards, you're my only idol. Young master, it turns out that you've already taken all kinds of situations to heart. To be able to do this, you're indeed far-sighted. There was no trace of flattery in their words. Instead, they spoke from the bottom of their hearts. They respected Yi Xian's words. Lu Haikong restrained his excitement and hurriedly called everyone to eat first. Let's eat first. We can talk later. Otherwise, the taste will change when the food gets cold. Furthermore, Lu Haikong also asked the butler to bring over his long cherished Da Hong Pao tea. Da Hong Pao was a type of black tea. It was very comfortable to drink as a supplement and could warm one's stomach. Yi Xian liked the taste of Da Hong Pao. Everyone ate happily. During the meal, everyone understood one another better. Just as he finished eating, Lu Yun's phone rang. He glanced at the number and pressed the answer button. After a simple conversation, he hung up. Brother Yi, the young masters are asking me to race with them. Do you want to take a look together? After Lu Yun put down his phone, he immediately asked Yi Xian for his opinion. Lu Yun respected Yi Xian very much. It had nothing to do with age or status. Everything that Yi Xian had done before was worthy of his respect. Before Yi Xian could speak, Lu Haikong, who was sitting beside Lu Yun, frowned and looked at his son. He reprimanded him, look at you. You only know how to race all day. What do you want me to say about you? If you have the time to play with cars, can't you learn finance and understand some policies from Chairman Yi? Lu Haikong looked as if he expected better from his son. The more he spoke, the angrier he became. In the future, he would hand the company over to his son to manage. How could he be at ease with such a sloppy appearance? He raised his hand and tapped Lu Yun's forehead. Look at Chairman Yi. He can see through the development and prospects of Jin Ling. Do you know how much accumulation and experience this requires? Not only did he have to know the relevant policies of the higher-ups in time, but he also had to be quite familiar with legal and financial knowledge. Only then could Yi Xin state such an opinion. Some things sounded simple, but after coming into contact with them, they realized that there was a huge iceberg hidden under the water waiting for them to discover it. Even Lu Yun might not be able to understand the core logic of these matters. Lu Yun did not dare to talk back to his father, but he was very unconvinced. Even if his father compared himself to Yi Xian, the difference would be large, let alone if he was compared with Yi Xian. How could a little star in the sky be compared to the bright moon? Yi Xian was also very helpless when he heard that. He shook his head and smiled. Chairman Lu, Actually, young Master Lu is still very outstanding. Moreover, I like to play with cars. After Yi Xian finished speaking, he looked at Lu Yun and asked when they were going over. When Lu Haikong heard Yi Xian say that he liked to play with cars too, his expression changed. He angrily waited for his son and scolded. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and bring Chairman Yi to play. Lu Yun was confused. What the F asterisk CK? His mentality exploded. Did his father have to be like this? His father was too scary now. Could his father not have such double standards? Lu Yinran covered her mouth and chuckled at the side. She shook her head helplessly. It was said that parents only wanted their children to be good. This was true. Lu Yun's father also had high expectations of his son. However, when faced with a pervert like young master, even a genius would tremble in fear. Well, let's go over now. Lu Yun secretly observed his father's expression. Seeing his father's unfriendly expression, he only wanted to escape from the house as soon as possible. Otherwise, no matter what topic they talked about later, his father would definitely blame him. He felt very wronged. Ye Vuan noted. After getting up and greeting Lu Haikong, he brought Lu Yun ran out of the villa. Lu Yun was about to follow them when he was pulled back by his father. Dad, what are you doing? Before Lu Yun could finish speaking, a bank card was stuffed into his palm. Lu Haikong held Lu Yun's hand and tapped the bank card with his other hand. He said, Let me tell you, there's 5 million yuan on this card. Take this card and treat Chairman Yi to a meal or something. As long as Chairman Yi likes it, don't be stingy, understand? After saying that, Lu Haikong seemed to be very worried about his son's character and behavior. He repeatedly reminded him, Remember this. 
You have to take the initiative to treat Chairman Yi to a meal. After the meal, you have to fight for the bill. Do you understand? Liu Yun did not expect his father to be so generous as to fork out 5 million yuan. He picked up the bank card and looked at it twice. He laughed and said, Oh my God, Dad, you're too generous. I don't even have such treatment. TSK, TSK, Tisk. Liu Haikong was angry when he saw Liu Yun's sloppy appearance. He slapped the back of his head and frowned. Stop laughing here. I don't care what you do, but you have to accompany Chairman Yi well. Otherwise, Liu Haikong didn't say anything. He just narrowed his eyes, and a dangerous glint flashed across them. How could Liu Yun not understand what his father meant? He shrank his neck in fear, put his bank card in his pocket, and ran towards the door. Yi Xian had already gotten into Liu Yinran's car. Meanwhile, Liu Yun drove his other car, the Ferrari 488, and followed behind their car as they drove towards Julian Mountain. When they reached the foot of Julian Mountain, they could see many sports cars speeding ahead. Liu Yun only took a few casual glances and saw a few familiar cars. When they drove to the top of Julian Mountain, it was already filled with all kinds of sports cars. The exquisitely dressed young masters and young ladies of Jinling gathered in groups of three to five, chatting softly and laughing from time to time. The sports cars on the platform were of different colors. Many of them had been carefully modified. One could tell at a glance that they were different. This was also what many young masters and young ladies thought. They wanted to spend money to make themselves unique. When they saw Yi Xian and Lu Yun's car arrive, they immediately stopped chatting and quickly walked towards them. Brother Yi, did you come with young master Lu? Young master Lu is powerful. He even invited brother Yi. Brother Yi is our idol. If not for you last time, we wouldn't have been able to survive in Jin Ling. Yes, everyone is right. Let's thank brother Yi together and thank him for helping us. Someone among the crowd suggested. Everyone immediately shouted at Yi Xian in unison, Thank you, Brother Yi. Their voices were deafening, and the aura was very shocking. Yi Xian was also amused by them. He waved his hand and said, Everyone, don't be so polite. We're just here to play today. As long as you're happy. When the young masters and young ladies saw how polite Yi Xian was to them, they were even more excited. The atmosphere instantly became lively. Among the crowd, there was a rather smart young master who had already called for someone to bring over drinks and alcohol. He raised his glass and chatted with everyone present. Accompanied by a few people, Lu Yun introduced Yi Xian to their usual racing route. Brother Yi, do you see this downhill road? The road ahead is a double S-shaped track with a series of six turns. It is the best test of one's skills. At this moment, Lu Yun and the Yi others were standing at the edge of the mountaintop. Looking down from above, they could see the mountain path below. Yi Xian was also stunned when he saw the demonic double S-shaped track. Such a rugged track not only tested one's strength, but also the courage of the driver. To put it bluntly, the more difficult the track was, the higher the casualty rate when racing. Yi Xian looked down and suddenly asked, We've gone up and down the mountain several times. Why haven't we passed by those bins? If they really drived on that track, Yi Xian would definitely have an impression of the track. After all, such a track was too rare. Lu Yun first looked around before saying mysteriously, that path was specially built as a winding mountain path. It has nothing to do with the other two paths that go up and down the mountain. At that time, there are rumors that this section of the road was very strange. It was only successfully built after asking a master to specially design it. Upon hearing this, Yi Xian only smiled and didn't take it to heart. There were countless such rumors across the country. If he believed them all, there were too few places he could go. A human's life was too short. The longest was only 100 years. As long as a human stepped foot in a place, lives would be lost there. Yi Xian understood this logic, so he could see through these things. Although this kind of track is exciting, it's very dangerous. You have to be careful usually, especially to prevent drunk driving. Yi Xian looked at the track in the distance and couldn't help but remind them. When Lu Yin heard Yi Xian's reminder, not only did he not feel annoyed, but he was also in a good mood because he felt Yi Xian's relationship with him. Don't worry, we're usually very careful. Besides, there are only two paths to choose from. That place is used to train our skills. If one wanted to practice drifting, such a winding track was the best path. 
There were many bins and the roads were good. Moreover, there were very few cars. It was simply the best place to race and practice. Seeing that Yi Xin seemed to be interested in the devil's bend, Lu Yun suggested, Brother Yi, why don't we take this opportunity to drive over? When the surrounding young masters and young ladies heard this, they also clamored to go over and play. All right, all right. Young Master Lu's suggestion is simply too awesome. I can take this opportunity to let Brother Yi see our true strength. Then let's go down and play together. Everyone has practiced racing in the Devil's Bend. It's time to show our true strength. Just as everyone was eager to race, a sound wave rushed towards them. Everyone was puzzled. This sound wave was especially special. It was not the sound of the sports cars that they often heard. Just as everyone stopped and looked over, a Pagani Huayra quickly climbed to the top of the mountain and drove in front of everyone before stopping abruptly. Oh my god, it's actually a Pagani Huayra. This is a super sports car. It's too cool. How can it not be cool? Just hearing the car price of 20 million yuan is already so cool that I want to pee. This car is simply too beautiful. Thinking about its speed of more than 400 kilometers per hour, it's simply awesome to drive. I've never seen this car before. Look at the license plate. It's from Tianjing. Just as the group of young masters and young ladies surrounded the Pagani Huayra to observe and praise it, the car door suddenly opened and a man in a suit got out. The man was wearing a very high-end suit, but it was obvious that his back was a little hunched. His dark circles were extremely heavy, and the area under his eyes was greenish-black. Everyone present was from the circle of rich second-generation heirs. When they saw the other party's image, they immediately understood. He had a straight back and dark circles under his eyes. It was obvious that he had overindulged and had been hollowed out. He was clearly a profligate son. The young masters of Jin Ling looked at each other, as if no one knew the person in front of them. Only Yi Xian stood behind everyone and narrowed his eyes. He would recognize the profligate son in front of him even if he was reduced to ashes. Wasn't this Yi Hai sent by the Yi family? He had gone to their house yesterday, but he had yet to return to Tianjing. Instead, he was staying in Jinling. What did this mean? It was just a casual matter for him to inform his big sister. It also showed how disrespectful the main family and Yi Hai were to their lineage. Good job, the Yi family. As Yi Xian thought about this, the cold smile on his face deepened. Yi Hai leaned gently against the door of the Pagani Huayra. He looked so soft that one could not tell that he was a man. His gaze swept across everyone's faces without restraint. The disdain and contempt in his eyes were self-evident. He sneered and said, Are these the sports cars of Jinling? It's really not that I want to say this, but they're not just a little inferior to the cars in Tianjing. If I were you, I would be too embarrassed to say that I was driving a sports car. Ha ha ha. As he high spoke, he glanced at the sports cars behind the young masters as if he was humiliated. He even clicked his tongue and sighed. That kind of disdain was just short of being written on his face with a thick marker. The tycoons were originally having fun, but they didn't expect someone to jump out and talk nonsense. All of them were furious. What the hell are you doing? Why are you shouting here? Haven't you eaten? Do you want me to pour you a bowl of dog food? This is simply going too far. Is Tianjing so amazing? Don't you know that a powerful dragon can't suppress a local snake? Why should we reason with him? Is driving a luxury car impressive and awesome? When Yi Hai heard the scolding, he was not angry at all. It was as if he was not the one being scolded. Yi Hai was quite experienced in being scolded. He looked at these rich second generation heirs who were not very rich. Some people who were far inferior to him scolded him out of jealousy, envy, and hatred. What was there to be angry about? Yi Hai looked at everyone with a teasing expression and said leisurely, Looking at your postures, are you preparing to race? I saw that all of you looked very unconvinced just now. I think there's no one in the huge Jinling who dares to race with me, right? Just as everyone was about to retort, they heard Yi Hai add, Also, I have a rule for racing. A rule? The young masters of Jinling were so angry that they almost laughed. They thought, who the F asterisk CK are you? You actually have the cheek to talk about the rules here. Were they supposed to show him respect? Looking at the indignant expressions of everyone in front of him, Yi Hai seemed to enjoy it extremely. 
He spread out his hand and waved it in front of everyone. You have to make a bet with me. Of course, my bet is not big. It's only 5 million yuan per race. When they heard that it was a bet of 5 million yuan, the young masters of Jinling fell silent. It was not that they didn't want to say anything. They really wanted to go up and beat such a person who deserved a beating. It was really because their financial strength did not allow it. It was 5 million yuan. How much were their sports cars worth? It was only this amount. Moreover, even if they were rich, they would definitely not race with him. The young masters of Jinling were not fools. What kind of car was he driving? It was a Pagani Huayra. A super sports car worth more than 20 million yuan could easily destroy them. With such a huge difference, if they were still in a hurry to compete, they would simply be giving him money. Faced with such a gamble that they had no chance of winning, everyone fell silent. This was no longer a matter of impulse or pride. Only a fool would pay such a large sum of money while knowing that they would lose. Yi Hai seemed to have guessed everyone's thoughts. He sat on the hood of the supercar indifferently and looked at the young masters of Jin Ling in disdain. He ignored the young ladies from Jin Ling. After all, he was a dignified man. If he were to argue with these women, it would seem too petty. However, these young masters of Jin Ling in front of him actually looked timid. He really couldn't stand it anymore. Yi Hai shifted his center of gravity back a little. This way, even if he was sitting, he could easily look at the people in front of him. His arrogant voice echoed throughout the entire mountaintop. No way. There are so many young masters in Jin Ling in front of me, but none of them have the courage to compete with me? Are you afraid of losing, or do you not have money? Let me think about it. You guys and I are holding a private competition. It's not embarrassing to lose, so this rule can be ignored. In other words, do you guys not have money? Ha 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 ha, I'm dying of laughter. At this point, Yi Hai burst into laughter. He seemed to be laughing until his stomach hurt. He covered his abdomen with one hand and pointed at the young masters of Jin Ling with the other. With your wealth, do you still have the cheek to say that you're rich second generation heirs? It's really too ridiculous. Has Jin Ling not removed the label of poverty? If you're really that poor, why don't I contact some friends to help you raise funds when I return to Tianjing? Actually, we don't have much money, but the little money that leaks out between our fingers is enough for you to eat and drink well. What do you mean? Don't go too far. How could the young masters of Jin Ling tolerate this? They all reprimanded him. Even Buddha would be angry if this person were to scold him in his face. Did he really treat them as clay monkeys? Lu Yun was furious and wanted to compete with Yi Hai. Wasn't it just racing? He didn't believe this. When the young masters saw Lu Yun's expression, they dissuaded him. Young Master Lu, there's no need for us to argue with such a person. That's right. I think he's so arrogant because victory is in his grasp. I don't believe that the bet for racing in Tianjin worth is 5 million. I think he saw that we weren't prepared, so he deliberately provoked us here. Young Master Lu, you can't be rash. Brother Yun, to be honest, isn't your car going to lose when compared to the Pagani Huayra? Don't be rash. That's right. He's just relying on his car. Yi Hai sat arrogantly on the hood and hummed a tune. He did not even look in their direction, let alone notice Yi Xian's existence. Yi Xian made a call first before walking to Lu Yun's side and whispering something into his ear. When Lu Yun heard this, he looked at Yi Xian in surprise, his eyes shining with excitement. Really, brother Yi? In that case, I'll go. Lu Yun ran excitedly towards his Ferrari 488, got into the car, stepped on the accelerator, and rushed towards Yi Hai's Pagani Huayra. He simply stepped on the accelerator, and the sports car ran towards Yi Hai like a roaring beast. Yi Hai was also shocked when he saw a Ferrari charging towards him. He jumped onto the hood and stood there. Yi Hai was stunned. Could it be that he had gone too far just now? Could it be that these guys were so angry that they didn't even want their lives? Just as he was a few meters away from the Pagani Huayra, Lu Yun suddenly stepped on the brakes. At the same time, he turned the steering wheel. The car let out a sharp neigh, and the wheels forcefully drew a black arc on the ground. In the end, it stopped steadily beside the Pagani Huayra. There was only a centimeter or two between the two cars. The young masters of Jin Ling subconsciously swallowed their saliva. Fortunately, he stopped. 
Otherwise, if he really scraped the car, the repair fee would cost millions. Yi Hai composed himself and scolded Lu Yun, who had jumped out of the car. Are you F asterisk king tired of living? How can you show off your skills like this? Lu Yun raised his eyebrows at him and sneered. If I didn't show off my skills, I wouldn't have made a rich young master like you jump up, right? Seeing that Yi Hai was exasperated, before he could speak, Lu Yun said, Didn't you want to race just now? I'll bet with you. However, your bet is too small. Yi Hai's gaze lingered on Lu Yun a few times before finally stopping on his Ferrari 488. Then tell me, how much do you want to bet? Yi Hai looked down on Lu Yun. He did not even have 5 million yuan just now. How much could he suggest now? He probably just wanted to vent his anger and regain some face. Lu Yun looked into Yi Hai's eyes and said word by word, How about this? If you lose, give me the car. If I lose, I'll give you 20 million. When Yi Hai heard Lu Yun's words, he simply laughed out loud. The other party was only driving a lousy Ferrari 488. How dare he be so arrogant to him? This was free money. Moreover, he had taken the initiative to increase the amount. Yi Hai looked at Lu Yun happily. Not bad. Kid, you're quite bold. As they spoke, the two of them confirmed the bet again. Someone beside them had already taken a camera and started taking a video as evidence. Yi Hai did not care. He stood up and prepared to open the car door. Since we've decided, let's get ready to start. Unexpectedly, Lu Yun pulled him back and said, There's no hurry. My car hasn't arrived yet. Yi Hai was stunned when he heard that. Aren't you driving this car? Lu Yun looked at the Ferrari 488 that Yi Hai was pointing at and shook his head. If he really drove this car, wouldn't he be giving Yi Hai money? Yi Hai's face was expressionless. In his opinion, what kind of good car could a person like Lu Yun drive? It would only be slightly stronger than his Ferrari. Compared to his Pagani Huayra, it was not worth mentioning. Everyone did not wait for long. Then, a car that was like a black ghost drove to the top of Julian Mountain. Look, there's actually a limited edition Bugatti driving up the mountain. Is this Brother Ye's F asterisk king car? Did Brother Ye lend his car to Brother Yun? When everyone saw this, they sneered in their hearts. Brother Ye and Brother Yun knew how to play. With this move, wouldn't Ye Hai become a fool? This limited edition Bugatti was a super sports car worth 200 million. Wasn't it better than the Pagani Huayra? The Pagani Huayra was trash in front of Brother Ye's car. It was not even trash. 